Monique and I'm back here with another video if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell on and thumbs up this video and stay tuned to hear my story time okay so as you all know if you've watched my previous videos um, I just turned 27 I went to Denver for my 27th birthday we had a great time it was amazing it was diesel be careful over here He's walking all up under the equipment. Um, but yeah, we went to Denver, had a great time. Um, fun, positive, everything off the buff, whatever. So um, my actual birthday wasn't until the 29th, which, which was until when I came back. I went to Denver the 24th through the 26th. Yeah, something like that. Um, so I, it's this guy. Okay, um, bring it back, bring it back. Stop, scratch, let's start over. Okay, went to Denver for my birthday. My birthday is on January 29th, and my battery is about to die. I'll be back. Whew. Okay, I'm back. Can I charge my camera real quick? Uh, it's probably not completely charged, but it's gonna have to do what it do. So, anyways, um, previously in a mukbang. We did a taco mukbang and we had a discussion about online dating. I know, right? Everyone does it. So, I ended up downloading these apps, right? Two apps. Completely a waste of time because it's like, I ain't gonna take y'all serious. And it's just, it's just not, it's not serious enough for me. I just feel like I need to be sitting up. Um... But yeah, like we, I'm on this app and I'm writing people, or I I put my social media in there. You know, I gotta plug myself. You know, my social media, my YouTube, or whatever. So um, yeah. So people I wouldn't match with, they would end up following me on social media. And then you know, on Instagram you have the DMs, and it, I don't know if everyone's like this, but I know mine says primary, general, and then it's like a request box. So people that I'm not following or yeah, people that I'm not following, they can't DM me unless they have to go through the request box. So, um, I get a lot of people in that request box from people that tried to match me on, on the dating apps and I didn't match with them. So, this guy ended up writing me, or whatever, he wasn't bad looking. However, um, he wasn't bad looking, so I'm like, okay, I gave my number. But then, I go on his Instagram <laughs> Like, not really realizing, like, what the fuck have I gotten myself into? Like, it's not an aerial. But anyway, um, I go on his Instagram, and this man got pictures with guns and all kind of ghetto techie shit. Like, I just turned 27. I'm not looking for that. Like, that, <laughs> that's out. I'm not looking for that. Let's, I don't even know what to say, because that's just not, that's just not what I'm looking for. But anyway, um... Just to make a long story short, this guy asked me, well, I had told him, like, my birthday was, you know, in a few days, whatever, because he knew that he had my number before I went to Denver. So, he had probably just got my number, like, right before then, maybe. And, um, I wasn't expecting for him to take me to around my birthday or anything or any of the above, because I just went out of time for my birthday. So, my actual birthday, I really didn't want to do nothing but go get me some crab legs and come home, eat my crab legs, and go to sleep after work because I have to work on my birthday so this man's like no it's your birthday you gotta do something blah blah, blah. let me take you somewhere so I'm like and oh mind you Denver wore me out I was sick when I came back like I felt awful I had to go to Arden's Garden take these shots to like try to clear it up like it was horrible it was getting worse and worse by the day so by the time my actual birthday came I felt horrible like I went on the actual day of my birthday I went to Arden's Garden that's when I actually took the shots because when I woke up it felt it was, it was horrible so um 
the shots they opened me up a little bit so i felt a little bit better throughout the day but it was one more shot i had to take that night so i couldn't take it till that night but um yeah so he like well, you gotta do something it's your birthday yeah da, da, da. we're gonna turn up let's get lit da, da, da. even though at first i'm not getting drunk too because i don't even know you sir but um anyways this dude he's like what area do you live in and i'm like i'm in cobb county so um People who know Georgia know that Cobb County is a little, police be out here. Let's just say that. The police be out here. So he like, I got warrants. I can't drive up there. Red strike number one. Red flag number one. You got warrants and you can't drive. You can't move how you want to move because you got warrants. So... What am I supposed to do with a motherfucker that got warrants? You can't even go where you, you can't go where you want to go. You can't go to the full place I want to go to because you can't. No. So, pause it. He can't. He can't drive up here because he got warrants. And then he's like, um, he wanted me to come get him. He wanted me to come get him. And I'm like, I ain't come to get you. No, we can go somewhere on your side of town. You know, that's cool. I drive over it. It'll make a it'll make a big deal. So he didn't have no place in mind. So I'm just trying to find something like cute, casual, not even nothing fancy or anything like that. So um I found a restaurant and we pick a time, we set a time. And the time we, when we set the time it was probably like two hours away from that time. So we said eight, it was like already like 6.15. So I mean, I had to already jump up, get dressed and go. So then um, I do that, do my makeup, you know, do my hair, you know, do a little bit to it, like some something like this probably. Um, and I get to the location. I drive all the way to that side of town. When I say that side of town, I mean like the south side. Like, East Point type, like college, like far, like good 25 minutes. So, um, I text him. I'm like, where you at? Cause I was already a little late, you know, gotta be a little late. I don't know this man. This is our first time ever meeting. Like, I don't know you, so I gotta be a little late. I need to scope the scene first. So <laughs> I text him like, where you at? And once again, he like, I'm at home. I'm like, what you mean you at home? He like, ain't you coming to get me? I'm like, no, we talked about that already. That's why I was coming to your side of town. So I wouldn't have to come get you. I was never coming to get you. I was never letting you get in my car. Like that was never going to happen ever whatsoever. Like not happening. I'm like, what don't you get? You're not getting in my car. First off, I don't know what type of man you are. And you don't know what type of girl I am. First, I could be like a killer or something like I can be like a scammer to have bad things happen to people you don't know me and that's why I wasn't getting in your car you wasn't getting in my car we was gonna meet up at the location my location is shared with multiple people at all times so um yeah like no so pretty much he's like damn you can still come get me I don't, I don't want you to waste your What's well, the trip all the way to this side of town and we don't do nothing? Mind you, it's already like 8, 8 o'clock, 8.30, going on 8.30 now. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm finna go home. I'm good. I, I already didn't feel good. So me even coming out the house was like, I was being nice because I didn't feel good. So then he steady texting, steady double texting at this point. Like, come on, you ain't got to do it. We can fall to go. It's a Wednesday. Ain't too many things open super late on a Wednesday. So I'm finna go home. Take this other shot so I can feel better on Thursday when I wake up. So I text him like, you know what? Don't worry about it. It's cool. I'm going home. As I'm driving home, I'm still getting messages from this man. Like, <laughs> it's good. Don't worry about it. I text him when I got home like, it's good. I'm already back home. <laughs> like, and I didn't text him back from that. And then um, he said he texted me every day after that. Like, you know, like it's sweet. Like, you know. What's up? How you doing? Hey, beautiful. What you doing, cutie? I don't do pet names. <laughs> but 
yeah he still texts me and i finally text him like um this isn't gonna work we're on two different paths in life like we're in two different places in life like it's just it's just not for me so um he texts back like lol kk like i'm glad you don't care because neither do i and I was going to leave it at that. I wasn't going to text back after uh, the KK or whatever. Because, okay, you said, okay, great. Let's end this shit here. Because there's nothing to end. Um, and then he texted me after that and told me some, um, oh, shit. Talking about, um, how about I go send messages? That makes it easier. He said, KK. And um, he said, I'm just a boss that want a boss lady. So I don't know what's going on. But hey, I wanted to come pick you up this Saturday night and take you out. But I guess that's dead. This Saturday as in yesterday. Today's Sunday. Today is Sunday, February 16th. He meant sun February, Saturday. <laughs> he went February 15th, Saturday. I just had that all mixed up. Um, I said, I don't know what's funny. But however, you say that's what you want. But all of you've been... All of you've been doing this asking me what i'm doing all you ask me is what i'm doing pretty much and you say you want to take me out but nothing is planned i don't nothing is planned meaning that like first off you don't know me you trying to get to know somebody like this is our first time meeting you should at least like make a reservation to go somewhere or not even a reservation you can have something and have a plan like we gonna go here at this so and so time that's all you gotta do days in advance like it makes things so much easier and maybe I would accept that because first off, you don't know what I have to do. So you can't just do last minute things like that because I may have something. I may have plans. I might be going out of town. You don't fucking know because you don't know me. Because all you've asked me is what I'm doing all day, every day. People that's interested in women, don't ask them what they know all day. At least try to get to know them. Ask some questions about them. Figure out something to talk about. Please have conversation. So, um, I pretty much said that to him. And then, um... I'm like, I ain't trying to be funny or be rude or whatever, like, but my time is sensitive. And he was like, mine is too, Hill. If you're still interested, I plan something for real, for real. So I was pretty much done already at this point. I was done on January 29th, my birthday. But I was on the phone with Eric at the time, and he's like, just say you can do lunch. Like, you know, whatever, just say that. So I'm like, I can do lunch Saturday. The motherfucker didn't text me back. And when I say this, when, I'm, when we're sending these messages, like, it's like, noon on Tuesday this past Tuesday the motherfucker didn't text me back Tuesday at all didn't text me Wednesday either and I wasn't texting him cause who the fuck am I to text him but he texted me like good morning cutie first off hated that I text back blah blah nothing this whole week we talk, we didn't talk Wednesday Thursday and yesterday this man didn't say nothing about Saturday or linking up Saturday to take me out or to meet and have a drink or anything. So, um, he, the last time he texted me was yesterday. I didn't text back and he's fucking out of here. And I'm not going to say their name or anything because that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not necessary. But however... Online dating is not for me, as I said before in the freaking mukbang. It's just not for me. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much my story time. My online dating experience. Like, would y'all say I got stood up? Because he did show up to all lady game? Or did I not get stood up because he thought I was coming to pick him up? Like, his mom on a Saturday to take him to the mall. Let me know in the comments, because I don't know if I got stood up or not. But... Anyways, that's it. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Don't do online dating. No, I'm just kidding. If you want to do online dating, if it's worked for you, also, if online dating has worked for you, let me know in the comments your experiences and how with you or even what apps you use because um, clearly the ones I was on is all BS and... We need to find me a boyfriend like me Simone. <laughs> so, subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. Follow me on Instagram at I am Ariel Monique. And shop the Ariel Monique hair collection. Because clearly it's flawless. And it's giving girls the life. So, um, thank y'all. I love y'all. I'm out. See y'all in the next video.
Get me a thumbnail.